Yeah. Hey, Ben, how you doing? I uh, just wanted to get, I guess, kind of your first impressions of of the program and um, just maybe give us a rundown of maybe how this this whole process happened with you ending up at Arkansas. Yeah, um, Coach, you know, Coach Pittman reached out to me after our last game when I was at the University of Louisville, just kind of asked me if this would be a place I'd be interested in. Absolutely, you know, and um, told him absolutely I would be. And, um, you know, we kind of got a little bit further into talks and brought me down and was fortunate enough to to interview with him and the staff and administration and Mr. Yurchek and uh, got the green light and got the offer and, you know, it's been rocking and rolling ever since. I guess from a, a personal standpoint, what was kind of the moment that you knew you wanted to, you know, be a strength and conditioning coach or what were kind of the origins of you taking this, this path professionally? Yeah. Uh, you know, other than my, my immediate family, the most important uh, people in my life, most influential people have been my coaches, you know, from the high school level to the collegiate level, to the coaches that I've, you know, been fortunate to be around in, in, in this profession. So just knowing how much of an impact you have on these young men, that's what uh, that's what's driven me to be in this profession, uh, specifically strength conditioning. I was blessed to be around a lot of good strength coaches during my time as a student athlete at Western Kentucky. Um, and just the caring and the motivation and the push and the want to and the hope that, you know, the coaches I, I were around, the hope that they gave us and um, to make us want to do better and, and strive to be our best. So it was a no-brainer that uh, this is what I wanted to do. Coach? Yeah, Coach, I'm curious how uh, your relationship with Coach Pittman there at Georgia maybe influenced your decision to, to take this job. Uh, it was very heavily. You know, uh, if it was somebody else, I, I probably wouldn't be – sitting here before you, but uh, I believe in Coach Pittman, um, not only as a coach, but but as a man. You know, I know how he does things. He's genuine. He truly cares about the players. He cares about the staff. He cares about this program. And, um, you know, it, it was it was a no-brainer. When he, when he gave me the opportunity to come, uh, I, I, I knew I was coming. And I'm curious how you, the last year, you know, running the, the strength and conditioning program there at Louisville, the Power 5 program, how did you grow? What did you learn about yourself over the past year? Well, I think sitting in this seat, you got to be able to answer a lot of uh, a lot of questions. You know, you got to be able to reflect and say, what do we do well? What do we not do well? And continue to build on that. Um, I think it's easier said than done. A lot of people want to sit in this seat, but they don't realize what all goes on. You know, you're – you wear a lot of hats, a lot, a lot of hats. And uh, from a mis mental uh, aspect, physical, you know, you're talking about relationship with players, uh, academics, nutrition, you know, obviously football, the the scheme of, of, of football, sports science. I mean, so just getting in there and talking about weights is probably a, just a small, 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 small part of it. You know, it's much, much more than that now. Tom. Hey, Ben, welcome to NWA, man. Um, it's yes, been a, yeah, it's been a pretty quick rise. I mean, it wasn't that far away. You were in Lake Charles, Louisiana. That's uh, right. What, what has clicked for you maybe that's helped you get up the ranks as quick as you have? To be honest, I think um, just, just being fortunate to be around a lot, a lot of great coaches. I think – being able to do a really, really good job when you get in front of those coaches, you know, so that they believe and trust in you. Um, every day is a job interview for me. And I told these kids, you know, the first day, last last Monday, so we're about, uh, I guess we're 10 days in now, right? 10 days in. So last Monday when I, when I showed up, I told them, listen, you're going to get my best every day. And I expect to get yours. You know, I'm going to respect you, but you guys are going to have to respect us, you know, and we're on one mission. And this is to make a championship uh, caliber program. You know, anything less is is not good enough, you know. And so setting the tone. But going back to that, I think it's just doing the best job you can no matter where you're at, you know. And um, it's, the coaching profession is a small profession. It, it is large, but people talk. And I think if you do a good enough job, people are going to notice, people are going to talk. And I think it's just a matter of time before, you know, you really, really get a – a good opportunity and, 
And, you know, it doesn't matter what level you coach at. That doesn't define how good of a coach you are. You know, there's really great coaches at D3, D, you know, D2, 1AA, you know, Power 5, Group of 5. It don't matter. But I think for me, I've been fortunate to be around a lot of, a lot of good coaches. Um, my time at, uh, at, at, at Georgia Tech, Georgia, and at Louisville, I think have made me ready for this position. You know, and just being around a lot, a lot of really good coaches and the resources and knowing how to use those resources and to keep growing the program. Never never be in status quo. You know, don't be satisfied. Continue to to be better each and every day. All right. I got a two-parter for you here. Last we heard from Sam Pittman after the Missouri game, he said we were out physical today, which I don't think any strength coach wants to hear. So I wonder maybe what he what he gave you is your charge and then – what have you seen from a leadership standpoint from in the time that you've been here? Who all's rising up for you? Yeah, um, you know, obviously we, we've got to get better in the trenches. This this game, this league, you got to win in the trench, and that's O line and D line. And so we we've, we've already put a huge premium on that. Our lifting and running, we start with our bigs um, on everything we do, and that's just to set the mindset of everything starts with you. You know, we're gonna win and lose up front. And for us to be successful, our O line and D line got to understand that that they that they lead the charge. So I think putting a premium on that. Uh, second thing, when you talk about leadership, everybody wants to get better at leadership. Some guys don't know how, so it's our job as as coaches and staff to help them lead, right? Help them understand what leadership is. Put them in roles so that they can lead, and then once they're in those roles, we have to grow them. Um, to, to develop their leadership. But there's been several guys. I mean, KJ right off the bat from day one since I've been here has really been, really been strong. You know, uh, Rocket, I mean, you got the whole offensive line, the guys, you know, that have been been here a long time. You know, your your Bows, your Lukes, um, you know, um, who else? Uh, Chris Paul's been a younger guy that's, you know, stepped up, really been vocal here early. So, but it's it's been a great rapport. You know, the, the guys are hungry. They want to win. It's our job to make sure that we give them the best recipe to win. Greg. Hey, Ben. Welcome to Fayetteville. Um, I was curious. You've seen a lot of facilities. I was curious what you thought about Arkansas's facilities, what you have to work with, weight room, and, and all of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, our, our facilities are unreal, you know, especially with – Football only complex stadiums, unbelievable. Just, our stadiums is as nice as you're gonna find in the country, and I honestly believe that. Our, our practice services are great. You know, we have an indoor, we have at outdoor grass, outdoor turf, so you know multiple fields to practice on. Um, you know, weight room. You talk about, I mean, it's probably one of the biggest weight rooms in the country. Uh, just from, I mean, especially, I mean, you're looking at 120, 130 yards long about 20, 25 yards in width, but it's just so long. We have 20 racks. You know, there's some things that we're going to we're gonna upgrade and, and do and some pieces that we're going to add to it. But at the end of the day, a 45-pound plate from 20 years ago or one that rolls right out of, out of a factory right now, they're still the same weight, you know. So we got to be able to roll our sleeves up and go to work. We have what we need, and we'll continue to build on some of the things that I feel like we need to incorporate from the, uh, from a weight room standpoint. And uh, on your staff, the guys and women under you, um, are there people that you're retaining? You're bringing people with you from Louisville? How, how old does that work? Or have you finalized any of that? Yeah, so we, we haven't technically finalized that. I do have about uh, six or seven guys that, uh, that I feel really good about, that I know that are all in and that want to be here. It's my job to make sure I get the best four out of those. And so we're going to do all our homework. Um, I can say this, a lot of people have reached out. You know, they they know this place is a special place. They know Coach Pittman is a special coach. So it's been overwhelming. You know, I think the first day that, that it officially came out that, you know, I was accepting the job, I think I had 126 te text messages, you know, from colleagues. But half of those are people that are trying to get in on the job. You know, they want to be here. They want to be a Razorback. So, once again, that goes back to how special this place truly is. We're in the midst of uh, hiring a, a nutritionist and, and their staff. 
Uh, but when it comes to staff here, it, it's it's going to be a clean house. I right, appreciate you coming in, Coach. Yes, sir. Uh, welcome to Arkansas, Coach. Hey, I've got yes, a sir, question. Coach. Just when Sam Pittman got the job, he had some two, he inherited some two hundred and eighty pound offensive linemen, two seventy. But coaching philosophy for him, how do you? And they've gotten bigger, and, and I get that. But how do you get? players especially I guess linemen are all players bigger but maintain their quickness and speed what's the key so what's some keys to that stuff well you guys know we all know at the end of the day you got to work right if you're going if you're going to get faster right you're you're going to do you know different speed and um you know different explosive different ply metrics all that like you're going to do that stuff but at the end of the day like you got to do it with all you got so that goes back to hard work. So number one, we're going to be built on hard, hard work uh, to grow. Uh, specifically, if you're talking about our O line and D line, um, we've got to continue to use our resources. We have so many resources here that I feel like are untapped. So we got to do better job uh, of that, from supplements to nutrition to our staff to our food. I mean, the Jones Center. I've I've already been in there four or five times with our guys. I mean, it's 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 as nice as anywhere you're going. To fine in the country. The, the food is as good from a, a tasting standpoint that you're going to find as the country. So we just got to maximize all the resources that we have here, you know, and that's, that's what's going to matter. Um, you know, and then as we all know, we got to continue to recruit, right? We got to recruit the best in the country. Um, and coach Pittman's, you know, just as good, if not the best as anybody in the country recruiting, especially interior guys. So, I think it's a mix of all that. We've got to continue to do that day in, day out. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Hey, Coach, I don't know if 10 days is long enough to really uh, get learned too much, but I'm curious if anybody has stood out to you from a physicality, athleticism standpoint with what y'all have done so far in the weight room and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, honestly, all of them have. I've, I've been very impressed. It's very impressed. You know, it's – I'm very, very fortunate. Um, I'm coming into a program where some things just got to be changed a little differently. You know, the the previous staff, I think, did a good job. Um, there's going to be similarities, but there's also already a lot of differences. And I think if you asked our kids, they, they'd probably tell you that. But it's not like I'm coming into a bad situation. You know, it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm coming ahead of the game as opposed to um, behind it. So it's encouraging. These kids want to work. They want to push. They want to win. It's our our job to make sure that we hold them to the fire. And what I mean by that is we got to win every day. So whatever you know our objective is that day, we have to do that to the best of our abilities. And if we can do that, and we continue to do that every single day, we're going to like the results. You know, we're going to like the results that we that we got. And then also, I know, I think you were on staff at Georgia when y'all came and opened up the 2020 uh, COVID season. Uh, but other than that, have you ever been to Arkansas, have any other ties to the state or the the program or anything? I have not. Uh, only thing I remember is we were down at halftime, uh, game one of, uh, I think that was, was that 19? 20. Yeah, so, uh, and I'll be honest, when I was at Georgia, Coach Smart said that was the loudest half full stadium we've ever been to. So, I I can't wait until we, we play that first home game and we roll the ball out and, you know, get around Hog Nation and we call the Hogs. Like, that's that's why I came because I, I know it's a special fan base. I know we got great kids here. And our leader, Coach Pittman, I believe in him. You know, I, I believe in to him uh, with every ounce in me, and I know he's going to give everything to this program, and I'm going to do the same. He's going to get my best every day. All right, Coach. Appreciate your time. Thank you all.